we go. Chonky Southern Black Brim on the artificial mussel second cast. No wonder he ate it. Look at those chompers. He's been eating mussels for a while. Let's get this lure out and get him back. G'day, Nathan from Paddlefish Tasmania here. We've headed back down to Browns River at Kingston Beach. Well, well, don't turn off, I know, I know. We always come down to Browns River at Kingston Beach to fish. But there's a reason for it today. These little bad boys. The latest and greatest, apparently, on the tournament scene in artificial lures. They are actually artificial mussels, handcrafted here in Tasmania by a local company. They've given me a few to come down and test today, so I couldn't say no to take on the challenge of catching some big brim on craziest lure I've seen so far, artificial mussels. So let's jump in the kayak and see if we can catch a few. Apparently they go really, really well in the brim tournament around Australia, so hopefully we'll have the same amount of success. So we'll give them a try. Also, make sure you check out our Facebook page. We've got a couple of these to give away as well. So let's go see if they work. All right, here we go. First cast into structure. Get a lure sorted out. Apologies for the water on the lens. This is raining. No cast, all right. Supposedly hit them on the drop. Drag. No success first cast. That's tied in the structure. If there's something there, they should eat it. Yep, bites, bites. Fish. Good fish too. Get him out of that structure. Come on. Oh. Well, there you go. Oh, they work. They work real well. Second cast fish. That's a good one, Toe. This pylon. Oh, that is solid, solid fish. Oh, they work. <laughs> there you go. Didn't take long at all. That's a really good fish. Whoop, not done yet. Here we go. Chonky southern black brim on the artificial mussel second cast. No wonder he ate it. Look at those chompers. He's been eating mussels for a while. Oh, fish, fish. On again. It didn't take long. Looks like the second cast is the go. Not as big this time. Still solid. Oh, hang on. No, it was as big. Should they get active on these muscles? Yeah, hang on. I changed. Did not hang off the side. Yeah, small this time. Oh, he's a bit green. No, it's just not. It's actually probably bigger, it just didn't fight as hard. Oh, look at it. 
That has to be pushing 36, 38. That's a lump. All right, another absolute lump of, oops, slippery, Browns River brim. Absolutely swallowing those mussels. They hit it so hard. They don't muck about, look at that. Trying to eat the entire thing. <laughs> All right, I don't know what this box is. Boat. Oh no, it's almost their boat. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Lost their boat. Might be able to get it back to them. <coughs> Hopefully, there's not too much war on the lens, but up there, look. <coughs> As we've just run up this edge, we've been chasing all the brim down. <laughs> it's like a scene out of Jaws. Big bow waves everywhere. Hopefully that's why. That's hopefully where they weren't all hanging out. Though we might have scared them all off. <sighs> Still raining. Oh well. Things we do for fishing. All right. So we've paddled down to the first corner. It's high tide or just starting to drop from high tide. So these banks are all lined with mussels and oysters and rocks and crabs. So. Natural habitat, natural habitat. It's early, give me a break. Let's get the muscle in here and see how it goes. It's pretty snaggy in here. Right, that's right in that snag. If I don't catch a fish there, there are no fish there. Oh, come on. Seriously, should put a fish deep in that snag. Oh, there is a fish in that snag. <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm like, where's that fish? Yeah, he was there, just didn't know. He just ate it, hadn't told me. Oh. Get him around where the net is. Head away from this bank. Oh, it's fair engulfed it though. Typical Browns River brim. He's probably 32, 33. Not what you call a big fish for here. It's just a Amazing spot for catching brim because average sizes here are just so good. So 30 maybe. Get a picture. I'll send you back, buddy. Bloody fish in there twice. Oh, there's a few fish in there. That one grabbed it and just bolted. That was him jumping. Oh, where's he trying to go? He actually had picked that up and run. I thought he dropped it, but he'd run. Well, the black works as well. Come on, turn my boat for me. Oh, another good solid brim. Pick that drag off a bit. He's probably fish of the day. Oh, no. Cast it in, he must have been sitting there. Went on a run, hit the surface for even knew it. The fight's like a crab fight. You sort of don't know their hook for a while. It's not as good as on minnows or soft plastics, but super effective way of catching. He's only picked up one hook. Should be an easy release. Get in here, son. Another big fat fish. Oh! They're all so heavy, they eat so well. A lot of mussels, obviously. Credit. 
Uh, no, that's <laughs> called a 36. He's just a touch shy, about 39 and a half. Good fish. I don't think you see much. Oh, that's, oh, he's up in the edges. Just drifting a crab out the back. I was working this muscle out the front and finally found a brim. It's been a long time between drinks. I doubt this footage will make it. Simply because it's too wet. Oh, <laughs> didn't like the boat. But we got there. I'm not trying to release this guy. Oh, if you settle. Oops. Drags off now. That's another good fish, but we'll try and release him in the water if you settle. If you settle. Oh, good chompers. There we go. Easy. Oh, a trap is set light. Oh, we've found a patch. We've definitely found a patch of fish. Up in those edges. That's a good fish with good head shakes. Loving the crab. Oh, that's a really good fish. Bring that muscle in. Well, nearly lost some second rod. Where's he gone out to the middle? Oh, there's snags out there too. Not where we want to be. Switched up from a mussel to a crab, working those drops. Oh, that's a good fish. Well, they're all good fish. That might crack our 40 though. Oh, come on, son. Oh, and it's fair raining too. That's an absolute lump. Oh, look at that one. Not a big fat crab eater. Oh, so heavy. That is a bloody good fish. Up near there. Oh, so wet. I'm gonna get one to eat a mussel. Oh, we're getting rid of this thing. I don't think we can get much wetter. Oh, absolutely engulf that bloody crank of crab too. Oh, yep, we're on. Oh, we're on. Yes, the mussel got eaten. Oh no, <laughs> we've got two fish at once. That mussel got slammed. Oh, chaos. That was a stupid idea. Oh, stupid, stupid idea. We'll wear him out, drop him next to the boat and hope for the best. Well, we found where they're hiding. I was schooled up in one spot. Good fish. Oh, get rid of your buddy here, hopefully. Do want to measure your friend uh, and get back at it? I'm a fucking brag, Matt. <laughs> this is chaos.
Right, how big is this one? That's actually not that big, that's only another 49. He's off, easy, let's get you in. Well, as you can see, the rain set in, I'm completely soaked, but it was a fantastic session nonetheless. As it turns out, artificial mussel lures work brilliantly. I'd rate them just as highly as cranker crabs. We caught seven fish today. Five or six of those were nearly 40 centimetres. So there's some really solid brim out there, putting up a great fight. So yeah, five on the mussels, two on the crabs. Fantastic session. As I said, jump on our Facebook page as I'll be giving away two of these brand new lures, all you have to do is like and comment. As always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you for the next video.